Yeah, well, she was saying, uh, what are you dating for? I think that's a good question for the panel, if you don't mind humoring us, Brian. Yeah, sorry what are if you I guys dating <laughs> for? What yeah. is the purpose of dating? Let's start with you. Me? Yeah, well, you're already married, so I don't know. Yeah. I guess uh, you can answer <laughs> still, but... Marriage. We know your answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, um, I'm definitely dating for marriage. Um, I felt like that's where I was hoping to getting in my last relationship. Um, I feel like that's why I was doing all that. And then also I think it comes with the, the intention and that was definitely my intention. Was to get married? Yes, and that's why I was uh, pr doing those like duties as in cooking, cleaning, and providing spiritually and financially and so on. So you were in a monogamous relationship with a single single guy? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. Is sex a part of that? I'm sorry? Is sex a part of that? Um, it wasn't at first, but then once he made the environment for me to feel safe, then yes, oh. I, I had sex with him. <laughs> Um, with me person, yeah, with me personally, I'm the, I don't I wouldn't describe myself as a person who would date aimlessly. I I wouldn't say marriage either because I'm so young, but definitely for like correct experiences that would like shape me into somebody that I want to be. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hang on, back up. You're not dating for marriage specifically mm -hmm. because I'm You're so young. For experiences. No, I wouldn't say like ex like experiences in a way you're probably thinking, but if it no, would lead to I'm not like experience anything. of a long term, yeah, sure yeah sure an experience of, of a long term yeah. relationship that might lead me to marriage, but because I'm so young, it's not it's not a guarantee that I would like if I don't 100 percent see myself marrying that person, I would cut it off completely. Not like that because I, I'm reaching for those experiences that would shape me into like. A What's better. wrong with getting married young, though? Nothing, nothing at all. But me personally, because of what I want to do with my career and like stuff like that, it's just not on my. It's not. Well, what do you want to do with your career? Me, hopefully, med um, the med field. I'm not sure with doctor, but you know, like that's really time committing, especially with like my um, load of study right now, currently, even as, as a college student. Mm. So are you, you're going to medical school? Um, it would be a hope currently, but we never know. I, I don't understand. It could be a hope. Are you going to medical school, or, or are you right That's, now just doing the prerequisites to go? Right to now, I'm a school? I'm a college student, but I'm saying that looking for in the future with what I currently hope to do, mar er, mar early marriage wouldn't be a priority for me. Why not? Just because of how I see myself like maneuvering in that lifestyle. So do you I just prioritize wouldn't, it wouldn't benefit career me. over marriage? Like, let's say you found the perfect guy tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He was great and fantastic and this and that. Would you still prioritize your career over that? If over, he put me in a position, married? if he put me in a position where it wouldn't, it wouldn't um, interfere. interfere with anything that has to do with my career, of course. You can have yeah, a career but what if, and be I mean, married. If he had enough money to just take care of you and ask complain. you, abandon the career, abandon. Why, why would that actually be problematic? <laughs> That like would depend on the person, right? Yeah. Like what your dreams and your passions are yeah. based off of a guy who just wants to pay everything off for you. Some people would be down for that, but she doesn't seem like she'd be down for that. Right. She wants to have like, yeah, a Yeah, I know, but she career. has a mouth and can speak for herself and we're having a combo. So Sorry. Just, just relax for a second and if you don't mind letting her answer yeah. so I can yeah, understand I'm gonna what her position is. I'm going to pick it back exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, said. calm down. I know you're, no, everybody I'm gets mad. If you, you're not allowed to speak for somebody else, you get mad. I get that. But just let yeah. them speak for themselves. Oh, I'm That's so fine. mad. Let, let them speak for themselves. It's cool. Anyway, um, so, so back to you, if you don't mind um, kind of elaborating on this, because I find this kind of interesting, is why is it that you would reject a man taking care of you if he wanted you to reject the pursuance of a career in lieu of children? Because why would I do that I don't really under, I don't understand well, why that because you be. only have X amount of fertile years right I mean but why would that and be obvious, my top priority well, here, yeah I'll explain it okay so if you want to have a family and a husband and children mm -hmm. and you find a good high-value man or a man with virtue who wants to also have children basically your 20s is going to be the years in which you bear the most amount of children in your 30s that's going to rapidly decrease same thing in your 40s so if he says listen I would like you to stay at home with our children to make the most optimal family possible and I will take care of the money. Why is it unreasonable for him to ask you to do that? Just because of my passions as a person and I would really like, I would, I would want to 
be with somebody who would understand that. I really wouldn't put myself in that situation. So you would reject family in your fertile years for what it is that you want? I mean, but how do you know family is a priority for me? Like, I don't, I don't. Because you said it was. When did I say that? Well, earlier when we were having the argument about Christian ethics, I assume that you follow, I assume you follow Christian ethics. Am I incorrect about I'm that? A, I'm Catholic, yeah, but um, I understand the So are you commanded you're... by the Catholic Church to be fertile and to multiply? But that's not really one of my, it's not really something I mm -hmm. want to do going, like, it's not my top priority. Like, yes, as a Catholic, I understand that, but um, with the whole system of me being Catholic, there's stuff I don't agree with, and I understand that it might not, like, align with other Catholics and how they might see me, but it's just something I don't really agree with. And it's not like I'm picking and choosing, but it just doesn't align with me as a person. Well, when you talk to your priest, what does he say? Um, I, we don't really talk about things like that. I'm not, I don't think this is you really a big deal. You don't talk to your priest? No. Yeah, do you really attend Catholic Mass very often? I mean, I go to confessional, stuff like that, but that, I don't really think that's a, something that would be brought up. I mean, not wanting to I mean, it's, it's brought up quite a bit, right? <laughs> if well, that's me your personally, no. If that, that's your spiritual father, isn't that a person you would confide that kind of thing into? Or no? No, that's true, but I really just don't think that's such a big deal, you know? I don't know oh. what we're going back and forth about. Well, we're not really going back and forth. I'm just, I'm just, I just want to make sure I understand your mindset. That's mm -hmm. it. So uh, ultimately, if you think that there is any sort of pushback from your religious views towards the things that you personally want, you will abandon the religious view for the thing that you want. That's not really what I... Like, I don't, I, I don't see my actions as that. I'm not saying I'm not going to start a family at all. That's definitely something I want, but not so early. That's not a priority for me, no. Well, when? Whenever How many years happens. do you have to start one? Whenever it happens, God willing. That's God's mm -hmm. time, not mine. As long as it's on the terms of you also get what it is that you personally desire, right? I mean, that is my train of thought while I'm advancing yeah. in life. You, you, don't, you don't consider that somewhat selfish? No, because I'm not abandoning what God wants, like, altogether. It's just not a early priority for How do you know? You me. haven't even talked to your priest about it. How do you know that? I mean, well, like I said before, God's timing, whatever happens, happens. That's just, that's, I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, all right. I'll, I'll let it go from there. I Thank just you. wanted to uh, inquire. We can continue with the same question around the table if Brian, um, unless Brian wants to move this on. Well, I got to get through all my notes first, so I think okay. we do have to move on to something else. Sure, I wanted sure. to come back to my question for you. You said that consumption of pornography is cheating. Pornof pornography creates weak men, and it seems you seem to have this. It's also the case for women, too, though, correct? Yeah. Women consuming pornography, that would be cheating, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I think there's a bit of a differential here, and if I grant to you that consumption of pornography is cheating on the man's part, now, I'm not going to frame it from a cheating perspective, but I would argue that men watching pornography is the equivalent of women using social media. That's it. That's my whole point. How, can you, um, yeah, how? like in what way? Right. So men and women are different. Men want sex. Women want attention. And so what? Disagree or? Do you not think men no, also want attention? Nope. No. <laughs> not to the same degree that women yeah. do. I think it depends on the person. If, yeah. Sure, are you yes. To say there like are like using social media as yeah, but, just uh, like posting. The, the just damage it's doing in to generalities. You, I, I would speaking argue in just general. Sorry, my bad. So so yeah. I would I would argue that the there's this a lot of women seem to take quarrel with men watching porn. I would not want to date a guy who watched porn, or you would see it as a potential like yellow flag, red flag. Ryan McCulloch donated $69. Ladies, I'd like to point out, a good point, the sooner Ryan. you have children, the longer your kids will have access to you in their lifetime. That's a really good point, man. That's, true. That's a really that good point, true. Ryan. Mm -hmm. Ryan um, McCulloch. <laughs> so there's this differential here. So I would argue that as a woman, if you're like, I don't want a guy to, uh, excuse me, I don't want a guy to <clears throat> watch porn, I think the equivalent request and demand on the man's part would be to say, I don't want you on social media. 
I think that's the equivalent request. Like actually posting on social media or just on it in general? Yeah, no social media, no Instagram. I don't think that's equivalent. I don't think that's because men can get attention on social media really how, how many how many d hold on, hold on, okay let me ask uh i don't know where i'll start on this um how many dms who said that me you okay how many dms do you get from random dudes i mean i, I get i get dms every day not every day but a week highly okay how many dms are you sending out I mean, if I see someone's attractive, I'll, I'll slide up with a hard eye, say you look good. How many DM? How many DMs have you ever sent in your whole life? Like to a guy. To first? a guy who you're like, oh, a couple. He's hot. How many? I can't count, but five, co- not three, five. Four. More. More probably. Okay. Like not like different guys, but if a guy looks good and I know him, I'm gonna tell him. What's the ratio? Like how many DMs are you receiving? To how it's many definitely you're higher. Yes, I get okay. more DMs than a guy would. Yeah. So I mean, there's definitely some differentials here, but yeah, I would argue that. The sort of validation that you're getting on social media um that's pretty damaging to a relationship i mean if you if you allow it to i guess i don't think it's half as damaging as sexual infidelity wait porn is not as damaging as sexual sorry, inf- sorry uh i don't think that like being on in, uh, like instagram like getting DMs or social them. media any of that is half and it's nowhere near the damage that sexual infidelity does what do you mean? That's that is the uh, a woman being on Instagram is like the uh, shit. What's it called? The gateway to infidelity. If you allow it, to. I feel like you can't hope that guys will find her attractive. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But when you put yourself out there on porn, you want people to see that you're but attractive. But here's the difference, right? When it comes to men and women, so men or men and women are not the same. Like women, the way you flirt is to just kind of put yourself out there. So you won't slide into a guy's DMs, but you'll post like an attractive, sexy photo, which will kind of prompt men to them to then DM you. You're not gonna approach a guy, but you'll just go to the bar or the club or the party, and guys are just gonna come up to you. So men and women operate very differently. That's why I'm actually very much against like dating a girl who goes out and party, like goes to bars, clubs, and parties. Now I don't I don't drink I don't go to parties well actually I had a hard seltzer I needed bro today was a little mess so I had I I don't I don't drink though generally speaking um, so I had half the fucking bottle so okay okay yeah 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 <laughs> so I guess the point I'm trying to make here is like as a girl like as a guy you can go to a bar or a club hmm. grab a drink sit at the bar nobody's gonna fucking talk to you the entire night but a girl you go to a bar club party whatever with your girls, even by yourself, you're gonna get hit on. So that's why it's actually a bigger red flag for a girl to be like going out and partying mm-hmm. in a relationship. Same with like having social media. Like a guy can go through his whole life, average guy, normal guy, go through his whole life, girl will never slide into his DMs. Average girl, 500 followers, public account, college girl. Bro, she's getting DMs from dudes. College guys, blue check, whatever. So it's totally different. So in a relationship, no, but here's the thing. Since men and women are different, we have different strategies here. Mm -hmm. Like men are, oh shit, how's it go? Men are, um, is it advertisers and women are marketers? Marketers Yeah, men are advertisers, women are marketers. So you kind of just like put yourself out there. It's like kind of the difference of like, okay, y'all are the employers and men are coming to you. Here's my resume. Mm -hmm. Whereas men, it's like we're, fucking passing out our resume everywhere and shit. And <laughs> so, and so like men, when we get into a relationship, we stop like our, um, our edge when it comes to dating would be like DMing a girl, mm-hmm. uh, going out to a, uh, no, DMing a girl, approaching a girl. But obviously we realize in society, hey, we cut that off when we're in a relationship. We stop doing that because that's cheating. But women never stop their edge when it comes to you're you're still on the market even when you're in a relationship when you're going to the bar when you're going to the club when you're posting on instagram you're still on the market because you're still you're still like sourcing men even when you're in a relationship that's why so many women when they break up with a dude they got a replacement immediately Mm -hmm. but that could play with men too Um, what do you mean like it's i feel like you're trying to like target a lot of these questions but Mm -hmm. in reality it goes both ways I mean, sure, maybe to you, it seems like it's majority, like this is happening to guys because of women. 
Like, it goes the same way. Like, it happens to women because of guys. Maybe you should bring mics a little. Uh, Me? Yeah, just a little bit to your left. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Men, it's not advertisers. Men are salesmen. Women are marketers. That's the differential. So in a committed relationship, a man should stop pitching, mm -hmm. and a woman should stop advertising. Uh, That's my view. Would you not like your girlfriend to be like, like, most men like the girlfriend to be attractive and approached by other men because then you can kind of put them on a pedestal of I've got her but everyone wants her or would you say you were too insecure for people that approach well I can't misses? I mean I, I'm I can't like if she's going to Trader Joe's I'm not going to be able to stop like men from approaching her uh but I mean I do prefer women who dress more modestly I prefer women who aren't like putting themselves all over social media, Instagram, and I definitely don't, I will not date a girl who's like clubbing, partying, doing that shit. Yeah, Won't but people can, at all. people can still post photos where they've fully clothed and still go about the days as, I used to post selfies, I'm still posting selfies now. I don't yeah. see why they need to stop doing that, like whether it was the most Christian girl possible. Why do they then need to stop posting pictures of the face because well, the boy about, is too insecure? It, I mean, their face is, that's not a huge deal, but like posting like provo sexually provocative but that's photos. What you were but what if they're not? That's what yeah. I was saying. No, you no. were just saying Instagram in general. You well, said I, okay. no there, there was media. an implication there of like, yeah. I, I, perhaps I, I failed to kind of give a bit more nuance. Okay. So, like, if she's posting like revealing like mm -hmm. bikini photos I see that's, and shit. That's understandable. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's understandable. Like, and it's like, there's differences yeah. though. Like, there's like a that's more tame bikini yeah. photo, mm -hmm. and then there's like a here's my ass bikini photo. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously that would be unacceptable. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. There's I'm thinking you meant like a regular general Instagram. Yeah. Like, I'm not super hardcore with it. Like, I'm not like. But prefer Ninja preferably Smoke has donated sixty nine dollars. No social media. So if God minimal. puts the man in front of you now, you would reject him for your career. Let's do math. Two guys a week is one hundred plus guys a year, and you're still single. It's you, not the men. Try being a lady. God forbid a woman wants a career. Oh my gosh. So I, I'm, I'm well, not understanding. I mean, it, well, wait a second. Hang on. That's kind of disingenuous because it doesn't really answer to what he's saying. I mean, like, what, what I don't understand. What he's saying is that if God were to put that perfect man in your lap, mm -hmm. you would still reject him for your career because of, well, what I like to call meism. Me, 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 right? I feel that's like, I mean, the, in my, in my yeah, Hang on, hang on. That's Sorry. the key, right? That's what he's getting at is he's saying you would still reject what could be the best thing for you because of what you, what it is that uh, you think is uh, some inherent goal or some um, some inherent purpose. And so he's saying that uh, that would obviously, from a Christian worldview, lead to massive regret down the road mm -hmm. because it seems that you're not fulfilling the function that you would normally fill as a woman inside of a Christian marriage. That's, that's what he's saying. Um, in my opinion, I feel like a man that God would put in front of me that's perfect, I don't think my career would be an issue. That's just what I'm gonna say, yeah. Cause I don't really, I don't. So, it, so is is I'm sorry. Are you there to fulfill what God's purpose for you is, or are you there to fulfill what your purpose for you is? God's purpose, of course, yes. Yeah. So then, what's God's purpose for you? If He puts a perfect man in my way, and it's His purpose for me to marry Him, I do not believe that my career would be an issue. Yeah, I know. But what if that's God's purpose? How would I? If God, I'm saying it again, if God puts a man in my life and it's his purpose for me to marry him and he's the perfect man for me, my career will be an issue. Yeah, how Intel do you know? Wild donated because $69. Just... Hey, Brandon, since you're a cuck, have you ever thought about dyeing your hair blue? What you are fuck? a beta, libtard, hey. degenerate puma. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Yeah. I might. I feel I look good with blue hair. I don't know, I might have to try. Are you gonna dye, are you going to dye your hair blue? I don't know, I'm like, what? It could work. Pink. It could work. a bold color. Pink. Can I just work. add to that? Um, so basically, you're saying that a woman should just literally abide by what you want her to do and cook clean, not have a life, Be not go out there. anywhere but to the shops, um, never leave the house I, unless I, it's with on. you. So and then uh, just serve up. the purpose. Why are Can you wait until I finish? Because you're not going out button in. 
Hey Andrew, why don't you tell the panel how her wife has Whoa. five kids and three aren't yours? <laughs> you preach high value, yet you're True. a stepdad to three kids. Beta, now smile and show us those pearly yellows. Big up, Speedo. Oh, big up, Beto. And here's you know the, the pearly rules. yellows, and I'm sorry, are you saying that I'm so altruistic as a Christian that I don't care about taking on stepchildren? Or that I would run an orphanage, or that I would take care of children who are not mine, and that somehow that is a dunk against my Christian values? You would have to demonstrate that. A cuck, even by its traditional oh uh, sentiments, would be a person who unwittingly took care of children who were not their own, or allow a man to fuck his wife. If your missus I has been fucked. Neither category. There's only one cock here, face. and he's sitting next to the blonde. Yeah, and she's sexy as fuck. But your missus has been fucked. Like it or not, she's been fucked. And all she's right, enjoyed all right. it. Okay, guys, okay. Allow she's my been missus fucked. get fucked by yeah, you, anybody well, else? Yeah, and you, you allow your missus to get fucked at least I'm there, by mate. other men. Yeah, but you at least raised two children. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. You've who allowed actually guys, guys, with guys, purpose, guys. who with purpose allows their missus to get fucked by other men? Guys. Me or you, sir? You've allowed your missus to push Answer my question, sir. Who allows with purpose their missus to get fucked by other men, me or you? Your your missus has been fucked by other men, so what's Ask, the difference? Answer my question, sir. Who with purpose allows their missus to get fucked by other men, me or you? Me, because we make money and we enjoy it, you, so what's the problem? because you're a fucking cuck. Hey, oh Never God, guys, smile yeah, your swords like away. Put your your missus is a you slag. By every metric okay, hey, guys, 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 let's bring a whole lot of Guys, 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 stop, 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 stop. Your missus has pushed out two kids. Let me, hold on, stop, stop, stop. Let me 